Hello, my Tinkercad friends. Welcome back. So far, we've learned how to make a face where you're adding and subtracting pieces of different shapes. Then we took those shapes a step further and made a table using the ruler tool. And then we built chairs using the align tool and learned how to rotate things and move the work plane. We're now going to combine all of those skills together to make a complex item called a catapult. Before we do, we have to go over how to read an orthographic drawing. So let's go to our orthographic drawing of the catapult. And you notice it looks pretty complex. Let's break it down and make it a little simpler. So here we have this one base piece that we're going to be making. If we take a look at it, we have a side view down here, which shows the object from the side along with these holes that go through it. We have a front view, which is the very, very end of it. And then we have a top view. If you were flying above looking down, this is what it would look like. So an orthographic drawing takes a three-dimensional shape like this colorful catapult and it breaks it down into a two-dimensional view. So here we have our side view, which is the one with the purple triangle here. And it shows the length and the height of our catapult. This next view is our front view and it shows the width and the height of our catapult. And if you look at our top view, if you were hovering above it looking down, we again have our width our width and our length of the catapult. All right, so let's go down and we'll start making the pieces. We're gonna make this blue one first that goes in the bottom, it's called our base. So here it says catapult base, and we need to make two of these. So we'll make one and then we'll just copy and paste it. We need to figure out how big it is. Well, in our side view, it's gonna be 75 millimeters. Down here, it says 75. If you look at our front view, it tells us it is 12 millimeters by 10 millimeters. And if we look at our top view, it gives us measurements for the holes. We're not gonna put the holes on for now. We'll do that at a later date if there's time. So step one, let's go to Tinkercad, pull out a block, and we are gonna click on the side view of it, and we're gonna make it 75. So let's go to Tinkercad and pull out a red block. Pause the video, you do it. Okay, we said we need to go to the side view. So I'm gonna rotate my cube. I'm gonna click on the right side. All right, I'll then type in the distance of 75 because that's what our orthographic drawing said. Do it. Next, we're gonna be working on our front view here. If we notice our front view is 12 by 10. So let's go to our orthographic or our Tinkercad drawing and we'll go to the front view, okay? And we know it needs to be 12 wide and 10 tall. Now we have our block. Yours should look similar to this. It should be 75 on the side, it should be 12 on the front, and it should have a height of 10. If yours doesn't look like that, make it, make it happen. Pause the video. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this the same color as our orthographic drawing here. You can see that the block is a blue color. So just to keep things nice and even, make yours a blue color as well. I chose this one right here in about the middle. Right. And then put it in the corner. We'll use that later on, and I'm gonna copy and paste it. So we have two. Okay. So we have two base blocks done. Pause the video. If you didn't get two base blocks, rewind and try it again. Next, we're gonna make the next block. Scroll down, we got the base block. We've got the side rail. Now, if you notice, our side rail right here in our front view is, there's a lot of measurements here, a lot of measurements. This, uh, this 95 goes to the hole. All right, see how this line shows the hole? Well, we're not gonna do a hole, so we'll ignore that. This six, that's how far down the hole is from the top, so we'll ignore that. And then this bottom one, ooh, see how the arrows go the whole length? That shows us that this piece is 125 millimeters in the front view. So let's go back to our design. We'll pull out a box. We'll go to our front view. And right here, we'll make that 125 long on our front view. Do it, pause the video. Next, we got our front view is 125. Let's look at our side view, <clears throat> excuse me. That is 10 wide and 12 tall, 10 wide and 12 tall. So let's go over here. We'll go to our side view in Tinkercad, click on right, okay? And we said that was gonna be, uh, I think 10, wide so we'll do 10 by 12 tall whoop that's not the height 
by 12 tall. Okay, so yours is going to look like that, long and skinny. Here are the measurements again, 125 by 10 by 12 tall. And if we go back to the top, let's see, this is our side rail. So let's go up here. That's going to be this yellow piece right here. That's going to be the yellow piece. So let's make yours a nice yellow color. I'm going to put that up here. And we're going to need two of those. All right. At this point, just work your way down the list. Keep making the parts as best you can. All right. And don't worry about the other holes. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead to the very last one and see if you can figure out how to make the catapult gusset. I'll give you a little tip. I'd make a rectangle that's 110 long, 20 tall, and then make a triangle that's 55 tall by 110 and group them. So make two separate pieces. All right. Good luck making your parts. All right, have fun. Just put everything on here and make sure to color code it. And then up here, type your name, catapult.